Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to this video. In today's session we are going to be doing a warm-up which involves our arm swings followed by some light cardio work just to build up that heart rate into the main session where we're going to be doing some dumbbell work and then finishing off with some more faster paced cardio to make sure that we are finished off with today's session. Without further ado, let's get started with that warm up. So make sure you've got plenty of space around you. You're not gonna hit anyone or anything. And we'll take one arm here, and the best we can, we're gonna move that arm around in a circle, just like so. So nice and easy, doing the best circle you can with your arm. If you can't do a full circle, that's fine. Just come and do a smaller one, but do the best you can here. Uh, there's no pressure to do a big range of motion. Do what you can do, as long as it's nice and controlled. That's the main thing here. Okay, when we're ready, we're gonna now change direction. So again, the opposite way with that same arm there. So nice control, nice and gentle. Good work. Okay, nice one. What we're gonna do now is change arms, going on to the other side. And the reason we're doing this is that we just wanna create some movement within the joints that we're going to be using in a minute during the main part of the session that's going to help us to perform at a higher level because they're warmed up properly which means you get more results in the same amount of time which is always a good thing and also that we have started to reduce the risk of injuries here as well make sure these are warmed up let's change direction with that arm now let's go the opposite direction again good work starting to feel a little bit looser maybe in those shoulder joints, maybe they're starting to feel a little bit warmer. That's good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, is gonna take one arm reaching over the top, touching the opposite shoulder, and then that one comes down, and the other one comes over and touch the opposite shoulder. So if you do this, great. If you can't quite get over, not a problem, just come to the near shoulder. And if that's a problem as well, coming up to the side, you can come across the front of your body. So there's just the, do which one you can. There's no pressure to do the one I'm doing here, which is all the way over to touch the opposite shoulder. If you need to do the other adaptations, that is absolutely fine. This isn't about how much we can move our body. This is about just getting that body moving so it's ready for the session ahead. Okay. Nice work. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take one arm here, we're going to raise up in front of us as high as we can, and then back down. Up, and then down. So make sure to control right the way through this range of motion, so don't just swing for no reason. Control it up, control it down. And this is going to get a bit of a, a bit of movement within the lats here, getting that part of our body warmed up as well. And then let's change up to the other side. So these are really basic movements. So we shouldn't be doing them to a level where it's hard. This is just to get the body moving, get that temperature up and ready for what we've got in store for you afterwards, because that's gonna be that's gonna be harder. Okay, let's come in for a hug out to the side. Going back and forth between the two here. Good work, everybody. Okay, next thing we're going to do is do some shoulder rotations. Just rotating the shoulders round. Just do it to where it feels comfortable. Don't force it around more than you can do. Nice work. And then change direction. Go the opposite way now. Yeah, and give that a nice shake out. Okay, that's part one of the warm up done. So that's mobilizing ourselves. Now we're going to get a heart rate up. We have a little 10 minute session here, and it's going to be changing every minute and exercise. Um, and the first, I'll explain the first exercise first. First one is like we're skiing. So if you've ever been on a ski egg machine, you'll know what this is like. If not, imagine it's like cross-country skiing. You might have seen that at the Olympics, but, or the Winter Olympics. 
they're coming through with the arms like that. So that's the first minute, and then I'll explain before the start of the second minute and third minute, all the way through to the tenth, what we'll be doing on the next one. Okay, so we're gonna start with that, with the timer here. Let's get this going. Just turning it up as well so you can hear it. We've got a 10 second countdown here. And so skiing with the first one here, going in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So skiing through here, doing the best you can to get those arms up as high as you can. And we can swing them behind us as well to get a bit of momentum in here. <laughs> Good work. So we're doing this for a minute, this exercise, and then we're going to be changing on to exercise number two. And I'll explain that in about 15 seconds time. So just keep this going here. About five out of 10, six out of 10 effort. Halfway there. Is an ideal range here. I just want you to have a pace that you can keep going for the full 10 minutes here. So don't go out all hell for leather. Do the pace that suits you here. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left. Keep that going. I'm just gonna demonstrate the next one, which is really similar, but instead our arms Ten come up seconds. to the side instead, and that's called a sitting jack. So we're gonna go into that in four, three, two, one. So up, up to the side now instead. And again, just getting that heart rate a bit, getting our body moving. I'm just gonna change here, there we go. So yeah, just getting that body moving. Nice work, everybody. Okay. So it starts to slip into a bit of a rhythm here. And that's the rhythm we're going to try and hold, that effort level. So it might, the pace might vary, but I want the effort level to stay the same. About five, six out of ten. That's not easy. Halfway there. And it's not hard. It's in between. It's like a, it's like a jog down the park. Except for, if you're watching this video, you're probably not jogging. Okay, we've got 20 seconds to go. The next one we are gonna do is we're gonna go through a series of punches. So the first one we're gonna do is punching forward. 10 seconds. That's in 10 seconds time. And again, this is just part of the warm up. So, if you think of it as a bit easier at the moment, it's meant to be. Three, two, one. So just punching forwards. Again, I'm just trying to get the heart rate up. Starts to maybe feel a little bit warmer now. Maybe even breathing a little bit heavier. That's what we want, we don't wanna be uh, uh, we want to be. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> okay. If you feel yourself tiring already, then just do the, what you can here. Reduce that pace maybe a little bit. To uh, halfway there. We're all going to be different levels of ability and different stages in our fitness journey. So for that, we just do the best we can. If you can't fully reach out here. Just come in a bit closer, that's fine as well. And if you struggle with coordination, maybe you can do double arm. That's a couple of options there for you. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Next one, we're gonna do similar, but next we're gonna be punching out towards the side in four, three, two, one. So out to the side now, just like so. Nice work, everybody. So keeping that going, nice consistent pace. This one's a little bit easier. So try and see if you can fully extend those arms as much as you can here. So try not to come in close here, try and really extend it out. So really extend it out side to side and then get in that rhythm of about five or six out of 10. Nice work, everybody. Halfway there. Halfway through this minute here. Uh, okay, so we've got about 20 seconds left. Keep this going. The next one we're going to do, again, very similar, but we're going to go punching up above our head, or the best you can here. Okay. And 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one. So punching up above the best you can. Now, if you can't fully extend your arms up above your head, not a problem, just go as far as you can. If that's you know, up to head level here, or even just lower, or even if it looks like running on the spot, just do the best you can. Try and extend it up as high as you can though. If you are struggling with balance or coordination, double arm might help, so that's an option for you. Or if you need to, depending on what 
ability you have. Halfway there. You might just want to be doing it one handed, or a key could be that one's going high and then one's going lower. So just do what you can with the ability that you have got. Okay, 15 seconds to go, and we've come up to halfway through the session. 10 seconds. As well. Halfway through this 10 minutes. Next one we're going to do is punching down and across in four, three, two, one. So the arm comes down and across, almost like we're putting on a seatbelt, but one side and the other, we're alternating through. Okay, good work. This one should be a little bit easier than the last one, so you can pick up the pace a little bit. Remember, we're not trying to match pace, we're trying to match effort each time, okay? So some of them might be quicker than others, and that's fine. If you are struggling again with the amount you can punch, if you could just get some like maybe a little rotation here using those arms for momentum. Halfway if you need there. To for coordination, you can always go double arm down, just like so. so good work. Okay, we've got another 20 seconds to go. Nice work. Okay, so the next one, what we're going to do, keep that going. We're going to go into some of the punching. A bag, like a speed, a speed bag. I don't know if you've ever used one of those, but you might have seen somebody use one. Three, two, one. So one hand rotating around the other hand. Try and keep it up around head height here. And on this one, we are going to change direction when it gets to 30 seconds through, okay? So that's in about 15 seconds time. So keep this going. Nice consistent pace, five, six out of 10. If you need to drop your arms down at any point, just do so. Try and keep those arms moving though. Anyway, five, four, three, two, one. Change direction. Halfway there. So just doing the same exercise, but going the opposite way now. Sorry, I got a little bit of a spasm there. Right at the bottom. Anyway, keep that going. 20 seconds to go. Nice work. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do something really similar. But we're going to do 10 seconds. Going to go from the bottom all the way up to the top and then all the way down again. Okay, so we're going to be traveling with these punches. Three, two, one, off we go. So come from here all the way up as high as we can, then all the way back down again. All the way up as high as we can, and back down again. Good work, good work. Nice work, okay, we're gonna change direction with the arms rotating around in three, two, one. So Halfway change, there. So keep it going up and down, just change the direction of your arms. If you get a bit confused with the, uh, the order or whatever we're doing here with this, then just do the best you can here, try and get through this. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go into our combo punch next. So it's gonna be forwards, side, up, then down. And it's in three, two, one. So it's forwards, forwards, side, side, up, up, down, down. Forwards, forwards, side, side, up, up, down. Forwards, forwards, side, up, up, down, down. Just repeating through that. <sighs> nice work, everybody. Keeping it going, keeping it moving. Nice consistent pace here. Halfway there. Halfway through, good work. And remember if you are struggling with coordination or that, you can do it double arm. Just as an option there. Okay, we're coming into 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds. And the last one, we're going to do a little bit of swimming and we're going to do some front crawl here for the last one in three, two, one. So into front crawl, last round. For swimming and doing the best we can here for this. Don't worry if it looks more like doggy paddle. If you're struggling as well, we're doing it alternating arms. You can do double arm, so you can do butterfly. That's a little bit harder there. As we come into the last 45 seconds of this 10 minutes here, Keep that pace going that we've started at the beginning here, and we're trying to go all the way through with this. Nice work, everybody. Half 
halfway there. Halfway through, good stuff, good stuff. Last 20 seconds here. Nice consistent pace all the way into the end. Ten seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, resting there. Good work, everybody. Okay, we're gonna take a small break, grab a drink, stay hydrated, and here's a word from me as a sponsor for my own video. I know, the irony. See you in a sec. dumbbells ready for the session ahead so if you haven't already got your dumbbells grab those if you don't have a set of dumbbells that is no problem just grab two things that you can hold in your hands roughly the same weight uh, something light as well because we're doing a lot of reps coming up okay so this session we've got here is going to be 10 rounds of 30 seconds of the exercise 30 seconds of the rest and say repeating that through 10 times Quite a simple exercise that we're going to be doing on every single one of these, which is a bicep curl to overhead press. Basically, it's having your arms down by your side, bringing it up to about shoulder height, and driving up above your head the best you can. So it's going from here, up above. What I want you to do on each one is to count how many you've done. So just go as many as you can within 30 seconds, and then we have 30 seconds rest. And then I want to try to hold that sort of pace throughout the whole of it. I don't want you dropping off too many. If we're getting like under you know, 10 less each time, then you're gonna start struggling. So try and keep it nice and consistent all the way through each one of these. Are we ready? Because we've got 10 seconds once I press this button now. And we're gonna get going. So bicep curls, overhead press, you've got this. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. So counting through here. Good work, everybody. Halfway there. Halfway through. Five seconds. Two, one. Resting it there, good. So hopefully you counted. We're having 30 seconds rest, and then we are gonna go again. That's one done. We've got nine more to go. This is a good exercise because we're using our biceps, our shoulders, our triceps, all together here to create a really good solid workout. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds and then we're going to go again. Remember your, how many you did. Let's try and match it, or even better it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Again. Nice work, everybody. Try and get it all the way down and then all the way up as high as you can each time. If you can't quite get all the way up, Go to where you can, so if that's just here, that's fine. If you can go all the way up, great. Halfway there. Halfway through, come on, let's keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Resting it there, nice work everybody. Okay, so that's two done. Good stuff. You'll probably start to feel all right at the moment. That's going to change later in the set. When we get to like six, seven, eight, that sort of at time, oh boy, the burn's going to start. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds of the rest. Are you ready to go? And four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Good work, everybody. Let's just power through here. Try and equaling, matching the same amount of reps Halfway there. as we did on the first two. 10 seconds to go. Come on. Four, 
three, two, one. Yes, there. Nice work. Three down, seven to go. Good work so far, everybody. So we've got 30 seconds rest. Make the most of it here. If that's just stopping, catching your breath, or if you need to stay hydrated, do what you can here. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds left of this. Okay, ready in five, four, three, two, one. Let's off go. Again. Good stuff. Halfway there. Halfway through. It's time to feel that burn myself. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, in there. I'm sure somebody will ask. I'm using two and a half kilograms, in case you're wondering. I usually get that sort of question during these, so. Okay. 15 seconds to go, the rest. Nice work so far, everybody. Let's keep that consistent pace up. Let's try and really push through. Ready in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Halfway there. Halfway through this one. I'm starting to struggle with the, with the arms here, specifically the shoulders and the triceps. Three, two, one. Rest. Resting there, good. Okay, that's five done. Nice work so far. Halfway through this 10 minute session. It's not a lot of work here, but what we do is hard, okay? What we do is hard, for sure. Okay, we've got 15 seconds to go. We're going in 10 seconds time. Are we ready? In four, three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. This is how you feel. Nice work, everybody. If you do feel like it's a bit too easy, either pick up the pace or next time you do this, grab something a little bit heavier to make it just that bit harder for you. 10 seconds to go, the rest. Let's really push through for the last four. 30 seconds here. Any three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Good work. Halfway there. Halfway through. You got this. Come on. Three, two, one. Resting it there. Okay, three, two, go. Whew. Nice work. Okay, so we've just got these last three here. Number eight, number nine, number 10. Let's really dig deep, especially if your arms and your shoulders are burning at this point. We're just gonna dig deep and just get through to the end here, okay? Going in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Halfway there. Halfway through. If you're struggling, don't worry, I'm right there with you. Four, 
three, two, one, rest in there. Okay, last two to go. That's only a minute of work, okay? Two loss of 30 seconds. It's gonna be the most painful part though. You got this. We're just gonna really make sure we're doing the best we can in the last two here. Yeah, just dig deep, hold on. Try and match those paces if you can. Or we'll just work as hard as you can here. Three, two, one, let's go. Up we go. Come on. Halfway there. Halfway. Oh, and don't worry if you're way off pace. I am too. Three, two, one. We're actually at there. We have got one more to go. And then we're doing one little cardio bit after this to finish off today's session, okay? All right, we are going in 10 seconds time. Ready, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, really dig deep here. Halfway there. Halfway through, come on. All the way to the end, this is the last bit of this. Dumbbell work. Three, two, one. Well done. There. Good work, everybody. Okay, put your resistance bands down as we go to the second and last little break we've got here. So whilst we're uh, also getting hydrated, another word from me. Are going to be finishing up here with just a little bit of really fast hard work but it's really short at the same time so it's just four rounds of 20 seconds of exercising and 20 seconds of rest but the 20 seconds of exercising I want a hundred percent effort so as fast as you can and then for the 20 seconds of rest we're gonna go down to 50% uh, effort apart from the last one we're not going to be doing any 50% uh, effort at the end so it's four rounds 20 seconds of exercising uh, maximum effort, 20 seconds of 50% effort. And we're gonna go through our punches. So the first one will be punching forwards, punching the side, punching up, and then punching down for the last one. So that's the, our four different 20 seconds, 20 seconds. So when, let's get started on the first one here in 10 seconds time. And we're just gonna be punching forwards as fast as you can. So maximum effort, ready, three, two, one. Off we go, so as fast as you can. Really quick here. Come on, let's really see if you can get any quicker than you go right now. Come on. Halfway there. Push it through all the way to the end here. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. So keep it moving now. But way less effort. So all I want you to do is just, just to keep moving, okay? The next one, what we're going to do is punching out to the side. So it's coming out like we did earlier on. And we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Out to the side, and then as quick as you can. Come on, really dig deep here. See if you can go faster. Come on. Ignore that your arms are aching from the dumbbell exercises. Halfway there. And just push all the way through. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Resting it there. Oh, sorry. Keep it moving. 
got carried away then. So just keep those arms moving. Next one we're doing is punching up and above. Oh, my arms are aching. Three, two, one, up and above. As fast as you can. Come on, this one's gonna hurt. Just gotta dig deep. Halfway there. Halfway there, come on. Three, two, one. Resting it there, we're keeping it moving. Okay, the last one, we're gonna be punching down. And remember, we don't have the 20 seconds at the end afterwards. It's just the 20 seconds of maximum effort. And we're going in four, three, two, one. Off we go, it's as fast as you can. Down and across. Come on, keep it going. Halfway there. Halfway through, come on, let's dig deep here, guys. Come on, all the way into the end. Three, two, one. Resting it there. Excellent work, everybody, okay. We are done there for today's session. Well done indeed. And if you haven't already gone and checked out adapt2perform.co.uk, go and do that now. Start your 14 day free trial right away and that will really help you to reach your goals in a much more structured, positive and productive way. So go and check that out if you haven't already. adapt2perform.co.uk, start your 14 day free trial and you can start it now and then go and do one of our recovery sessions. So maybe you've uh, felt that that one was really difficult, you particularly need a good stretch or a yoga session, and now is the time to do it. Go start that tri trial and go check it out. Or if you want to do more exercises as well, you can do that too. We've got so many on there for you to choose from and loads of programs that are structured specifically for you. Anyway guys, that's it for today's session. Well done for doing that. That was a particularly difficult one today. So good job. I will hopefully see you very soon. Goodbye.